In January of 1836, Governor Henry Smith ordered William B. Travis to recruit 100 men and reinforce Colonel James C. Neal at San Antonio for the impending arrival of Santa Ana and the Mexican Army. Able to recruit just 29 men, an embarrassed Travis requested to be relieved. Smith insisted, however, and Travis reported to Neal in early February. Within a few days, Travis found himself in command of about 50 men when Neal took leave to attend to a family illness. James Bowie had also arrived at San Antonio, bringing with him around 100 volunteers, and he and Travis initially quarreled over command. They were able to effect an uneasy truce of joint command until Bowie fell ill, leaving Travis in sole command. Travis directed the preparation of San Antonio de Valero Mission, known as the Alamo, for the arrival of Santa Ana. With engineer Green B. Jameson, he strengthened the walls, constructed palisades to fill gaps, mounted cannons, and stored provisions inside the fortress. Travis also wrote frequent letters to officials requesting reinforcements and provisions, but only an additional few dozen men came from Gonzales to his relief. The advanced stages of Santa Ana's attack on the Alamo began on February 22nd, and additional reinforcements for the Texians were nowhere to be seen. Two days into the siege, Travis penned his infamous victory or death letter. He continued to send letters requesting aid even as the cannons began firing at the Alamo. Travis recognized that help might not come, but his letters evidenced an unshakable resolve to fight to the end. All in all, the Alamo had between 182 and 257 volunteers, both Tejano and Texian, fighting in its defense. Just before dawn on March 6, 1836, Santa Ana ordered an assault on the Alamo, and the defenders were overpowered within a few hours. Travis died early in the battle on the north wall from a single bullet in the head, one of the first to die. Travis's body, along with those of the other defenders, was burned at the Alamo.